Whenever anyone mentioned Vikings, the common image in their mind's eye was a tall, blonde man in a helmet with horned wings jumping out of the boat, sword and axe in the hand, ready to burn, loot, and do all kinds of bad things across them. However, the reality is that looting only took up a fraction of the time people spent during the Viking Age. Agriculture The Vikings were mostly farmers. Most of the crops they grow are things like wheat, barley, and oats. But several vegetables take a root here and there. As in Norway today, there were many farm animals scattered across the country. Pigs, cows, sheep, horses, and chickens, all of the staples of European farming. Many other professions are also alive at this time. Shipbuilders and carpenters, blacksmiths, tanners, fishermen, and even merchants were not uncommon professions for the likes of Ragnar or Rolio. Many Vikings would have done some of these, but over time and with the advent of larger settlements came Scandinavians who specialized in one or two particular trades. Clothing Style As far as clothing went, the Vikings loved wool and lots of animal skins. Viking women were highly skilled weavers, able to create beautiful patterns using plant-dyed wool. Men's clothing is quite standard with pants and shirts of different lengths. Long wool dresses are standard fashion for women. There's been a lot of debate about what Viking style was, as not much of their outfit has stood the test of time. In general, however, it can be assumed that the styles you see on TV and in movies are unlikely to be historically accurate depictions. Accessories For one, the Vikings love bling. Men and women are most likely adorned with rings, bangles, necklaces, bracelets, etc. Finely crafted metal has held up well, and leather, bone, and wood jewelry are also not uncommon. Infrastructure After a long day in the fields or at the end of a long journey to recover booty, loot, and slaves, there was nothing better than a Viking to lay their feet on at home. The structure is usually wood, mud, stone, or a collage of any of these. Houses are usually rectangular with cute holes in the roof to allow smoke to escape from a fire that may always be burning. The Viking houses were not much different from other buildings in Europe of the time, though they were much less grand than often depicted, and perhaps by a better method of insulating space to retain heat during the long, dark, cold northern winters. Protein-rich diet Not surprisingly, fish made up of a large part of the Viking diet. They also have lots of other proteins to choose from. Pork is the most popular, and horse meat skewers decorate many tables. The bread is made from various grains that they grow on their farm. Coupled with this are the fruits, berries, and nuts that can be found on farms. Board Games As in many other ancient societies, much of the entertainment came from sports such as wrestling, competition, and war games. The Vikings even had board games to fill their time. Researchers believe that the famous Isle of Lewis chess pieces were made here in Trondheim before they landed off the coast of Scotland, even though they date back to the late Viking Age. It can be assumed that they emerged from the long history of board games. Poet wars also seem to be commonplace. On many days, towns, farms, or knights' halls are filled with music, poetry, and stories. And of course, the Vikings loved to ski and drink honey. Male Dominance Viking societies, like many all Viking Age societies, were male-dominated. However, women can join men in raid units. They also played an important role in establishing settlements in other countries and establishing trade routes. Women own property and can divorce. The most famous of all the bodyguards was Lagertha, who fought alongside the Viking ruler Ragnar Lothbrok against Sweden. But like many people in the past, Viking daily life was full of hard work. But those efforts lay the foundation for a society that is remembered to this day. Men do more physically demanding work outdoors, so in the morning, they went to the field. They will fertilize, plow, and sow seeds. The only time they're all together with the boys is during harvest time when they all have the work to do. From the beginning of the season, the men began to plow every day, using wooden bows that loosened the soil but did not turn it over. To turn the soil over, the Vikings plowed each field twice and plowed a second row perpendicular to the first row. Share your thoughts in the comments section and do share and subscribe for more.